you can't and this is a, this is biblical though also you know um you got if you are if you can't be trusted with little god ain't gonna give you much <laughs> if you're not trusted with the little that he gives you where you're at right now what you have your current surroundings he ain't just gonna give you more he's like look you're not you know uh jordan peterson says make your bed you didn't even make your bed today <laughs> right you're not even taking care of what you got you're not taking care of what you got how do you expect to have more added to you it's a good thing when you're not being spawned on by your thoughts and by your feelings and your will and I, that's a confusing place to be i know what that feels like where it's like i don't want anything i don't feel anything i'm not thinking about anything like you're clueless he says allow yourself to be in that cluelessness i've said this to you guys before allow yourself not to know allow yourself not to know because when you when you can't sit in that not knowing there's no space for the spirit to speak to you think about think about the spirit is a is is pure but then the thoughts you know the, the soul is thoughts feelings will if the thoughts and the feelings and the will are all tumultuous right distracted the pure spirit can't make its way through it's it's blocked you block the spirit so he says it is a blessing to be arid to be dry <laughs> to not know he says that, and only then can the spirit begin to transform you and so you know part of my answer is that is be okay not knowing and and what's even what's even more challenging is to be okay not knowing while there's temptation right so like you're sitting at work you're bored and you start thinking about being a boxer right that's temptation that's temptation that is what it does is it removes you from where you are so that's my next the next half of my uh response here is when i say revelation uh, and, and you know this is not this is not biblical this is not spiritual this is this is e hulse doctrine this is from the book of hulse <laughs> right i made this up um revelation a lot of times comes in the form of opening your eyes opening your eyes looking at where you are and making the best of it because the path you're always on a path you're always on a path every even if you wake up in the first thing in the morning you smoke a joint you play video games and you eat junk food all day you're on a path you're on a path you can't start anywhere else <laughs> you can't start anywhere else and one of the things that i've confused myself about and i've gotten in trouble about is being somewhere and then trying to get somewhere else without acknowledging where i am what am i going to do how do you do that right we got two feet on the ground the only way to get from here to there in reality is to take that next step right where you are and then where you are and then where you are and then keep taking those keep, keep taking those steps even if you don't know where it leads but you get up and you do something one of my dad's favorite lines is get up every day and do something but here you got it's got to be something productive right get up and every, every day and do something productive because if we allow our imaginations to carry us away this is a term from Iron John. He says, then you become a high flyer or a fly boy. <laughs> you don't want to be a fly boy. A fly boy lives in his imagination and he daydreams about where he's going to be. And he thinks he can get there by growing wings. I'm going to fly away. I'm going to fly away from where I am. I'm going to land in this new place <laughs> in your own mind. <laughs> and there happens. So, Haran, you know, you got it. First of all, you got a job. You say, I made the dream at work. Well, you got work. You got work. Well, the first place to begin is to dominate the work that you do. Are you doing the work that you do to the best degree? Now, if you're daydreaming, you're probably, you're probably not, <laughs> right? If you're daydreaming at the job that you're at. You're probably not doing the best that you can. Here's another one. Uh, this is a metaphor from King David in the Psalms where he says, um, something to the degree of allowing my cup to fill up so that it can spill over. Well, you got to, you got to fill your place. This also comes from, uh, the book, the science of getting rich. It's a new agey kind of book. It was written in like 1918. 
new agey kind of occult knowledge book so beware but it is based on some truth and he says that if you want more you got to fill up where you're at right now to get there <laughs>